How's it going guys, it's Jake here, and today we're gonna to be going over the Capital One Venture X Rewards Card. So in this video, we're gonna be going over the core benefits of this credit card, why I originally signed up for this credit card, and I've had this credit card for one month now, so I'm gonna explain some of the interesting things that haven't really been talked about with this credit card that I've experienced. Lastly, we're gonna decide if it is worth it and if you should apply for this credit card. So with this card, you get a $300 travel credit when booking flights or hotels through the Capital One travel portal. Most of you guys probably do travel if you're gonna be looking at a premium travel credit card. Each year with this card, you're gonna get a 10,000 mile anniversary bonus or essentially $100 in miles if you're booking through the Capital One portal. Basically, if you're gonna travel more than $400 every year, you'll get reimbursed for all of this and that essentially makes the annual fee of this credit card $5 positive. One of the benefits is the 75,000 mile bonus after you spend $4,000 in the first three months. I'm actually planning a trip to Europe, which is going to help me hit that $4,000 spend. And I wanted to make sure that I wouldn't change my habits to spend $4,000 in three months since I was going on this trip anyway. And it made sense to apply for this card. Another one of the core benefits is the TSA Pre or Global Entry Credit of up to $100. I was looking to get that TSA Pre check taken care of. It was just easier for me to get TSA Pre check, but if you're gonna be outside the US a bunch, you might as well just get the Global Entry. It might take a little bit longer, but it could be worth it. So another great benefit of this card is the Capital One Lounge Access. Currently, there's one lounge in the Dallas-Fort Worth Airport, and there are three Capital One lounges stated to open at Washington Dulles, Denver Airport, and the Los Angeles International Airport. So this is great. Capital One is building their network out, so eventually there is gonna be more lounges. My expectations for these lounges are actually pretty high just because I've been to the Capital One cafes before and they're really nice, good customer service, pretty clean and uh, very modern. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how these lounges look. Another one of the big bonuses that I was looking to get when I was applying for this card is the Priority Pass lounge access. So with Priority Pass, you have access to a bunch of lounges all over the world. So in this case, it was definitely worth it to get the card. And with that TSA pre-check, it made a lot of sense for me to go ahead and apply. Some other features of the card is the no foreign exchange fees, which is great. There's primary rental car insurance, pretty typical for a, tra a premium travel card. And there's also travel insurance up to $2,000, which, which can come in handy if you have something happen in your life where you need to cancel a trip. Another interesting note with the capital to one travel portal is that if you book a flight and the price drops within 10 days, you can get up to $50 back. Another awesome perk is the $500 trip delay insurance. So if your flight is delayed by six hours or more, you're eligible for up to $500. This is very handy and can come into play if there's weather or your flight's delayed, which has happened to me and I'll get into that in a sec. Also, another benefit is the Visa Infinite credit card status, which basically includes return protection for up to 90 days if you buy a product with the credit card. There's extended warranty protection for certain items that are eligible under the Visa Infinite status. The cell phone protection is handy. It actually covers up to $800 and that covers a damaged or stolen phone, which is very handy to have. So getting into why I actually got this card has to do with an experience that I had with Southwest in December. If you're not familiar with the Southwest cancellations that occurred in December 2022, there were 5,500 flights canceled in the month of December, all within a three-day window, which unfortunately mine was on one of them. And without this card, I didn't get that $500 trip delay insurance that I would have gotten if I had protection. So I, I had booked this flight with a Chase Freedom Unlimited, but that didn't have the trip delay insurance. Southwest ultimately ended up rewarding me 25,000 points. They didn't have to do that, and I'd like to have the travel protection for next time. So calculating for the mile value of the Capital One Venture X card. It is worth one cent alone if you book within the travel portal. Transferring the miles to other transfer partners can value the points up to 1.7 cents. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna be doing this that much with Capital One points because their transfer partners are kind of limited. As of January 2023, there are really no domestic transfer partners in the United States and some of the other transfer partners are kind of hard to get, but if you do plan on transferring the Capital One points, they are definitely going to be worth more. So if you fly any of these airlines here, I would highly consider transferring to them from Capital One. The earning of Capital One points is actually really great 
With the Capital One Venture X, you're gonna be earning 10X miles through hotels and rental cars booked through the Capital One Travel Portal. I think this is a great amount of points. 10X is actually one of the highest that I've seen for a premium travel credit card. For example, booking a hotel that costs $500 will get you $50 worth of points back or 5,000 miles. With flights, you're gonna be earning 5X points booked through the travel portal. This is pretty strong as well. 5X points back is awesome and pretty good for a premium travel credit card. Lastly, one of the strongest benefits is actually the 2X miles back on everything doesn't have to be through the travel portal. You can get 2X miles back on anything that you put on this credit card, essentially earning at least a 2% cash back rate. Even with the Chase Sapphire Preferred, for example, you're only gonna be earning 1X back for everything else. This values the credit card pretty strong because you're gonna be earning such a good base level. This will be my catch-all card for going into 2023. Here are some of the things that I find interesting about the Capital One Venture X card. This doesn't necessarily have to do with the card, but the travel portal itself. Itself. So when I was booking my flight to Amsterdam and Paris, I wanted to look for multi-city flights. Through the Capital One portal, they are unable to book multi-city flights, which unfortunately I couldn't book two one ways and get the same price. The flights were going from 500 to like a thousand. So they really wanted you to book a round trip. And without that multi-city function, unfortunately I was unable to book my flight to Europe through the Capital One portal. So because I couldn't book multi-city flights through the portal, I called the phone number to see if they could do it for me. And unfortunately, they said that they couldn't book any multi-city flights at all. Even on their end, they don't have that feature yet. Good news, they're gonna be coming out with that feature in about three months or so. It looks like Capital One is making effort and we will see multi-city flights coming soon. So even though I didn't book through the Capital One portal, I still got my $500 flights counted towards my $4,000 sign up bonus. Even though I couldn't get that 5X back, I still ended up getting 2X back. Unfortunately, maybe next time we can book through the portal, but Capital One, I'm waiting for your multi-city. Another really cool benefit about Capital One cards is that since I live right next to a Capital One cafe, I get 50% back on Pete's Coffee. This is just something that's kind of for fun, but and you can do it with any Capital One card, but I thought I would mention just because it's Kind of a cool perk to have. Another interesting feature that I found with Capital One is that they have Chrome extension, which can give you a temporary credit card for up to a certain amount of set time. This is awesome to have for security reasons if you're gonna be paying for something online and you don't wanna have your actual credit card go out. This extension will develop a new credit card number temporarily for you to use and saves a lot of headache if you were to accidentally leak your credit card number out and is a really cool feature to have. So in conclusion, is this card really worth it? It's essentially free to keep if you travel more than $400 every year, which is awesome to have. And this card definitely is a keeper card status. So I would say yes, it is definitely worth it. And if you could make that sign up bonus, then it would be even more worth it because you'd get that 75,000 mile bonus for signing up. All of the insurance and other small benefits with Visa Infinite is great and fantastic to have with this card, making it a worth it credit card to get. So I will be using this credit card through the bonus and definitely as my catch all credit card for the rest of the year. And lastly, if you wanna see what's in my wallet, I'm gonna be making a video. It should be linked right here and it explains what's in my wallet, what I use, and what I am looking to get for 2023 credit cards. If you're enjoying this video, go ahead and smash that like button, guys. I'm growing this channel and I wanna talk about personal finance and credit cards. I have a lot of interesting things I wanna share and this is kind of the beginning of this channel, so any support would be much appreciated and I would totally appreciate it if you smash that like button. 